everyone, Lori Whitlock here. In this video, I wanted to introduce you to a darling new set of box card food trucks that I have in the Silhouette Design Store and in my SVG shop in SVG format at shop.loriwhitlock.com. Uh, these are all so adorable. They've got some cute little phrases on them. This one says, hot dog, you did it. And um, these measure five by seven, so they should fit in an envelope so that you can mail them. And how fun would that be to take someone a hot dog and a hot dog card this one says baked with love and it's got a darling little uh, cupcake on top. And this one has, you're the burger to my fries. Darling little burger and French fries. So much fun, I love these. Of course, we've gotta have the taco truck. I'm just here for the tacos. Love that one. And this one says, no matter how you slice it, you're awesome. So fun, piece of pizza. Um, you could take somebody a pizza and just let them know that they're awesome. This one says, donut worry, be happy. I love this one. Take someone a dozen donuts or a gift card to Krispy Kreme or something like that. And they would absolutely love that gift. And the one we're making right now says, thanks a waffle lot. And I also have a corn dog one that's coming as well this week. So, uh, these are really simple to put together. They're um, a basic box card, but the only thing that's going to be a little different is that it comes in two pieces. So you're going to need to connect that together and wrap that around to form the card base. Uh, before we do that, though, I just wanted to point out what I've been doing. I've gone ahead and layered the uh, white piece here. You'll notice that that white piece is running underneath those wheels. So you'll wanna make sure that you put the white piece down and there is a card base to put on the front of the whole um, card. So if you wanna build that on the front or you can build it right on the base, either one. Uh, but I have given you an extra truck front in case you want that to be a different color on the front of the truck. Um, so go ahead and lay down that white piece and then go ahead and put the wheels on. And I'll show you how I've done that on this one. So the wheel is just a layered little gray hubcap there on top of the black wheel. And we'll just line that right up with the wheel on the card base. So that, that covers that. Um, this is the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that up here. I have not embellished the back on these completely. Whoops, actually that one has, oh, this one had a second, we are better together sentiment and you're the burger to my fries. So both of those sentiments are inside the hamburger card, but most of these are blank on the back so that you could put your sentiment back here or sign it or whatever. Um, so on the front, I'm just gonna bring one of these over here as an example so we can kind of, well, let's bring the pink one over since it's kind of similar. Um, we're just gonna place our little window and I'm not quite sure what happened. I was putting this together and realized somehow I cut the little notch off at the bottom of the window. Yours should indeed have a little notch on both sides of the window. Um, but it's getting late tonight and I decided not to recut that. So we'll go ahead and glue that placement right in there. And then to create the cute little topper piece. You have a, a solid white piece and I've gone ahead and just glued the pink strips, the three pink strips in place there. And we'll go ahead and glue that right there at the top of the window. That should just kind of center over that window. You can even push it up just a little bit to give it some space for our little waffle scene inside the window. And we have our little front window up here and it's just layered with a trim piece, just like our larger window here. Leave room below that to put the teeny tiny little handle in place. And I'm gonna use my pick me up tool to grab that and put a little adhesive on it. Get that in place and oh, I got a little too much glue on that. I'll try and wipe that off with my scraper on the edge of that pick me up tool and that should dry clear. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Okay, we need to put our 
little um, fenders on. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up, put the pick me up, and it's going to go with the little rounded edge towards the back bottom. And uh, you'll notice on this example, we've done a little bit of inking on the edges of the pieces to make them look a little more three-dimensional. You could certainly do that as well. I like the way that that finishes off your projects. Okay, this one here, we need to be careful not to get that on the side panel. So we're just gonna tuck that in and we'll go ahead and glue that little fender down. Okay. Uh, now we just need to add our little waffle. We're just going to put that in the window here. We'll just glue that down right there. We could have moved that window down just a little bit, but it looks okay just like that. I have a little strawberry here. And these pieces are quite tiny, so just be careful. In fact, I had a little whipped cream piece, and I have somehow lost it between my office and my video table here. And I, again, it's getting late and I'm not gonna recut that, but you could put your little whipped cream piece right there in the middle of the waffle. And each of these pieces are embellished differently. So you'll just have to take a good close look at the pictures. You're gonna be able to see the pictures larger in my SVG shop. so. Um, go over there and take a cl good close look at how things layer up so that you can make all of these cute embellishments. I've tried to keep them fairly easy for you. Uh, like on the taco, I've cut the eyes and the nose and the cheeks out. And I've given you a piece to layer behind, just like here on the waffle, for the eyes and the mouth. And just so you're aware, this little crisscross piece on the waffle does indeed cut the little mouth out through that layer. So you're going to uh, see that cut whenever you cut it. That is not a mistake. It's just so that that mouth will show through. And then this waffle is going to go right here on our insert piece. And those little pink cheeks are going to show through. We'll go ahead and put some adhesive on that. So I've tried to cut these out where they're smart. I know there's a lot of little pieces, but they're so incredibly cute when they're done that they're worth it. Okay, so this is our box card insert. Our little tabs are right here. And we'll put that in after we assemble the whole box. I'm just gonna set that aside for a minute. We still have our fender pieces and we need to add our thanks a waffle lot tag. Of course, you could always change these little sentiments. They're, you could just delete the sentiment out of there and replace it with whatever you would like to say. There's so many cute phrases or punny phrases. Um, I love you a waffle lot would be darling on this one as well. Um, but this makes a great thank you card as well. So they make darling uh, Valentine cards, I think. Okay, so this one's gonna go back here. Make sure you get the adhesive on the correct side of that piece. We're gonna glue it on the back end just to match the way we did it on the back end here with that bottom rounded corner pointing down into the back. Just like that. And our front one is going to uh, match the way we've done it here on the front. So I'm gonna rotate that around just like that. So the fenders and all of these pieces are the same on all of the box cards, the food truck box cards. Pretty simple. So that completes the back of the card. So now we're ready to attach the front to the back. And I'm just gonna do that here at this little side tab. Just make sure you only get glue on that glue tab and not on the side panel of the card. And then you might wanna kind of flip that over and just make sure that you're lining up the bottom and that edge so that everything lines up and the wheels all come to the same level at the bottom. Now that we've glued that one, you should be able to just put some adhesive on the other glue tab here. And I like to just use the table and fold that right over and everything should line up just right to put that tab in place. 
Okay, so that completes our card base for our box card. And now we just need to slip our insert in. And to do that, we're just gonna put glue on these two tabs and it should be spaced where it's going to be right in the center if you'll just line that up with the back of your card. So let's just go ahead and put glue on those two tabs. And we'll push those in and put them down into place, lining them up with the back of the card. I'm giving that a little push back there. And then I'm just gonna roll that flat and make sure things stay lined up. It should actually line up with the bottom as well on those two sides and give it a nice press and rotate it and give it a nice press. That'll ensure everything lays nice and flat when you go to put it in your envelope. But look how darling that is. Thanks a waffle lot. So these go together really simply. Um, I've had a few requests for um, specific tutorials for these. That's why I went ahead and made this video for you. Um, but basic, simple box card. But again, these do have quite a few little pieces, but they are so cute put together. I hope you have a good time making them. And I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.